Okay. I forgot to emphasize in the last um, example that or exercise that we're rounding to a one digit arithmetic fact, which is why um, we ended up in the last problem of getting down to three divided by one where there was a three in the house and a one outside. And that helps us to estimate the quotient. And then we're gonna take a calculator to find the exact answer, comparing our quotient to the estimate. And actually we're looking for a pattern. Um, and I'll talk about that in the next couple problems. So for this one, um, we're going to, I'm going to take a couple steps to round, well, I'm going to take one step to round it down to a one-digit arithmetic fact and then add those zeros back in to estimate the quotient. Um, so um, follow on quickly or pause if you need to, but we're going to be setting up four little division houses. Um, so for this one, we have um, 4,752 divided by 12 and let's look at our divisor our divisor is 12 and that is close to the 10 of 10 so well I like to think of in terms of tens 10 20 30 40 50 it's really close to 10 so we're going to um, round that to 10 and then just like in the last problem I want to find a number for the dividend that is um, that is divisible by 10 and 47 is probably closer to 50 than it is to 40. So I'm going to change the 47 to 50. I'm going to round it. Sorry, not change it. I'm rounding it to 50. That's a five. Doesn't look like it. And then everything after it is going to be a zero. Um, and I, let's see. <laughs> it's so sloppy. Okay, so now we have 10, uh, 5,000 divided by 10, and we want to round it to a one-digit arithmetic fact. So that would be one outside the house and five inside the house, or five divided by one. Five divided by one is five, and that is nice and easily manageable. So um, in the last one, uh, sorry, our first, our discussion, our classwork, we had um, 150 divided by 3, which we saw found to be 5. And um, that's because it's related. It's the same thing as 15 tens divided by 3 tens. And so that's what we're doing here. Um, we're thinking about this as 110 and this as, well, if we took off one zero, it would be 500 tens. So we're going to go back to our pen tool and write in that um, we can estimate that 500 tens divided by 110 would give us 500 tens or 500. Um, in this case, it's 500. So using a calculator, we will find the exact answer, the quotient, and, oops, I do need my pen again, and 4,752 divided by 12, oh, we're going to have to squish it in small, is going to be 396. And so let's compare 396 to 500, well, at least they're still in the hundreds. It's close. It's not as close as the last problem, but it's close. So we're happy with that.